Hello, my name is Eamon Kelly and I'll be taking you through the A-Level IT 9626 2018 May Paper 4, the graphic section, which is question 1. Now, I'll be using Adobe Illustrator and we'll be creating a logo, something like what you see on the screen here. It's This is will take quite some time to complete this here, but just giving a quick look at it, we've got three balloons. They've got um, a balloon here, like we'll be working with gradients. We've also got this ribbon here as well. And then we have text above and, and below. We need to save each individual balloon. Um, and then finally save uh, all three together. Draw three of them together. Now some of the skills here, I'll just, you might just pause the screen and read through these here. The ones I'll just point out is the fact we'll be working with the gradient gradient tool. Um, that can be a little bit tricky at times. We're also going to save each individual balloon as a standard vector graphic format. So we're going to be working uh, saving it as a SVG, a scalable vector graphic. Um, if you're working with SVGs, a good thing about working with them, then we can change the size of them afterwards and it will not affect the, um, the, uh, the image. Also, we'll be exporting as a bitmap um, with a transparent background. So when they ask for a transparent background, we're talking about PNG. And then recommendations for students who are doing the exam. Um, again, highlighting the paper, the important points, having a piece of blank, uh, having a piece of blank um, or a blank page, or also using something like a notepad um, is is a good idea. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to look here first of all. Um, as I've had as the important ones. At the very end, we're asked to produce an A4 21 centimeter by 29.7 centimeter anniversary image showing three color balloons with the text above and below. Individual images of each balloon should be saved in an open standard vector graphic format. So, this is where we, we will save each individual balloon as a, in an SVG format. And if you just, if I jump down here, so say the first one is a red balloon. And then there's green balloon, blue balloon, and so on. And we put them in the in the order of red, green, and blue. They've got this, um, as I say, gradient or bloom here. So this is a, a radial gradient. And we also need to put in the the ribbon here as well. Okay. So going over here, I'll just go to again. I could. Over on the right hand side, I'm going to go to pixels and I'm going to put in. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to be saving this as um, SVG, Control C, and create. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go and go file save as. And I, might, I know my first balloon is going to be saved as red balloon. So I'm going to call it red balloon. And I'm talking about up here, the May paper. You see that I've already created my exam center folder. Yes. And and it'll be saved as Adobe. So Adobe file. You can go to the top view, fit all in window so it's centered, and let's get started. So over on the left hand side, I'm going to click on the shape here, the rectangle, I'm going to the ellipse tool. I'm going to just simply click on this here. Okay, my my uh, my canvas is 400, so I'll leave the circle as 200 by 200. I'm going to just move this up slightly. I'm going to click on the on the left hand side. I'm going to click on the direct selection tool. I'll just click off this first one. Click on the direct direct selection tool and do this here. Now we've got the these lines here, and then I'm just going to drag on this here and drag down. Okay. Back over selection tool. I'm going to move this up slightly. Next, I'm going to <clears throat> I'm going to create the um, 
the lower part of the balloon. So I could click on the rectangle to, to here, but I'm going to actually just click on the polygon to so just you know what the dialog box looks like. So we've got radius of 50 and sides. I don't need, I only need really four sides. So it's, re, I did, it's actually a, a rectangle. Okay, I'm going to move this. It's going to be here someplace. I'm going to work with the curvature too. So left hand side, the curvature too. I'm going to move the tops in. Bear with me because this can take some time. Okay. Maybe also the bottom. Okay. Before I move this into place, I'm going to, and for no real reason, but I'm going to work on the the balloon here, and I'm going to work on the gradient here. So I'm going to click on the left hand side, and I click on the gradient tool. Click it once, nothing really happens. Click it twice, and I have this um, dialog box, or this um, this panel, as it was showing up. Click on the this gradient slider. And then we have the slider at the bottom. So I need to click on this little slider here, on the right hand side, double click on this here, and then my colors come up. So I'm looking for a red here. Click back on this here. But we're not working with linear in this case here, we're looking we're working with radial. Okay, now go back to my screen. I click on this slider here. I'm going to move this up. <coughs> And again, we have these. If I click over this here, you see that we have this little slider here. I can change this if I want to click on the other side, the, white, the brighter side, the whiter side. No, I don't want that. I'm going to move this again a little bit more. And click off it. And that goes to selection to click off this. We can go to, go to the, um, close this here, go to the shape at the bottom. I'm going to click on this here. I'm going to go to my fill and click on the red. Okay. Okay, next I'm going to move this. Now there's an important point here. At the moment you see the, the shape of the bottom is actually above the 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 the, the balloon shape or the, the, the ellipse shape. Uh, it's important that it goes behind because once I merge these together, otherwise it will affect the uh, this bloom here, this um, gradient here. So I'm going to go arrange, send backwards. I'm going to select all and merge these together. Okay, so you see the gradient has actually been affected here. So I'm going to go back so you can do something about, about that. So I'm just clicking on the gradient tool in this case here just once, moving this back up a bit, back down a bit. I'm going to again work with the slider. A little bit more. Move it up a little bit. And I'm happy enough with that. Okay. <clears throat> Next, I need to create the um, ribbon here. This can be tricky working with a mouse. So, and I'm not expecting to get it perfect. And also, uh, in the exam, there's only one mark going for this here. So, clicking on this here. And over on the left hand side, I'm clicking on the pencil tool. Okay, the first time I tried this, I spent quite some time trying to get it perfect, but then I realized it wasn't worth the time. So be careful about that. Okay, and I did something like this here. Control Z. Okay, I'm going to click on this one here. I'm going to just fill this here. It's probably an unusual way of doing this, but I'm going to move the line. This is different to the way I did the first time. Back over on this one. I'm going to see, can I group these? I'm over here grouping this together. Okay, so now I can play around a little bit with this here. 
the size. Let's see how this looks here. And again, if I want to do, I could create this on another layer. Just go down here to this here. Go over to the curvature tool. I might work a little bit on this here. Control Z. Complete that. Okay. The curvature too here as well. Close this slightly. Okay, I know this is not perfect, but when I zoom out a little bit, you'll see that it'll look okay. Okay, okay select all, control A, and I'm going to group these together. Okay, so this is at the moment I'm going to go file save. I'm also going to open um, a new one. It should show up the same dimensions I've just been working with. Here on the right hand side, create. And file new again. And create. And this one should be, we call it file. Save as red balloon. I'm going to call this green green balloon. This is going into the folder. I think this will help save time. And then blue balloon. Okay, so back over to this one. I'm going to control A. Oops, control A, control C. And see, can I copy this into the next one? Control V. Good. Um, here I'm going to go to, we might have to work a gradient here again, or work with the gradient again. Um, I'll click on ungroup. Let's see, let's see, can I work with gradient as it is? Click on this here, click on this here. Let me see, this is going to be the green one. Okay, this is affecting the bottom as well. I'm kind of aware of that. And it's also affecting the, um, the ribbon. So that's not ideal. Let's see what we can do. Close that here. And. Okay, to radial. Just I'll click off of this here sometimes by clicking off of it and now clicking on it. Okay, there we go. So I need to click off on the left hand side, I need to click on the selection tool that nothing is select, and then just click once on the on the and see can I improve on this here. Okay. And I'm going to this a little bit. Okay. Take 
got this here, I'm going to go down to our, this is ungroup, isn't it? I want to fill this here with the black. Oi. Control Z. Let's add for a second. I want to change this here to look at okay. But I don't want this here. If you go to the curvature tube, you might find another way of doing this here. Curvature to control Z. Okay. Make sure this is grouped. It is grouped. And move this back over here again. Now, what just going on this here, what might be a, a better idea is actually to just create the the balloon shape and then copy those into the other ones. So it might be a little bit faster. Okay, so we save this, file save. Need to do the same with the next one. Control C. Control V. I'm going to ungroup this out for a second. Go back, click on this here. I'm going to go to over to the click off the screen or off the balloon, click on my gradient tool. <clears throat> okay, oh, I need to also change the color. This time we're going for a blue, I'm going to a dark blue. Go back over, click off the screen again. I go to the selection tool, click off the screen, and I'll click on the gradient tool once more. I need to go to Gradient options. And we want this to be a double click on this here, we want this to be blue. We also don't want this linear, we want this to be radio. And There might be slight differences between the balloons. So again, as I say, you might find another way of doing this. Okay, just clicking off. Control Z. Click the selection tool. I'm going to bring this back in here. I'm using the arrow keys at the moment. And like this here. Okay, close this here. Select all. I'm going to group. To go back into the green as well, I'm not sure if I select all and group here as well. Okay, I didn't do that. I go file, save here, file, file, save. Okay, now we've got our three balloons, but all of them are in Adobe Illustrator format, so we need to save these as a scalable vector graphics. So go to File, Save As. Now, this is interesting. We can save or export it. So back down here to the bottom line, we can see, click here, and SVG. And we say OK. And we see it changes up at the top. File, Save As. Again, click on the drop down menu here, SVG. We could have also exported as SVG, and you see that it shows up as, with the. Uh, and here, so I'll just put, save as. And again, SVG. It'll show up like this here. 
with the uh, Internet Explorer, I could even save and OK. I could have also gone in here and exported, export as. It would have also given me the option of PNG, but I will also have SVG here as well. And cancel. Cancel. Okay, let's go to back to the question paper. So now we have the um, three balloons, and we need to create a new image using the three balloons. Place the balloons in the order red, green, and blue. Position is uh, shown, and save the image as three balloons. And again, I'm assuming here they're looking for a SVG format. Again, you, um, save it as an SVG. I would also maybe save it as a PNG. <coughs> Okay, so back here, put in this one here, file, new, okay, so control C, control V, no, our screen is, is, 400 pixels wide by 400 pixels wide, so we're going to make this much smaller to fit. So this at the moment, the it's 200, the height of this here. So let's change this here. I'm going to click on this here, and then change this to maybe, maybe change it to 100, see what happens. Okay, good. So I've, over here, I've, I've unlocked this here, so I'm going to move this into place here. The next one, so it's now 100. I'm going to c control C on this here, control C. So I'm going to do the same with the, I know I, that, that won't work for me. I'm going to go do the same with, let's say, the green, control C. Back over here, control V. Go up here, change this to 100. Right hand side of them, properties 100. I'm going to go to the blue one, control C, back over here, and control V, and again properties and changing the to 100. <clears throat> I need to check the order of these here. So this is going to be red, green, and blue. Just like this here. So the red is a little bit higher, green's a little bit lower. Okay. And this is going to be three balloons. So I'm going to go back up here to here. I'm going to go file, save as Adobe Illustrator file. Three balloons. And now move these into position. I'm going to move this over. Instead of using the arrow keys, I'm going to just click on the. I'm going to work with this here. So they were. Something like this. I need to check the. Um, if there's one behind the other. So we see, okay, this one goes back. So the, the, the red is, comes to the front. And the blue is at the real back. Okay, so I'm going to click on the back. So I'm going to send the blue one back. So we'll go down to maybe I can just arrange here. So right click, arrange, send backwards. And right click, arrange, bring forward. To do that again, maybe bring forward. Good. I'm going to select all these together. Good. <clears throat> and I'm going to group them. And group. Good. Um, I also need, okay, I need to go file and save. But I'm also going to save these as SVG. So file, save as. Clicking the bottom one, SVG, and save. 
And OK. OK, so Chris, we have three. We want to add the text to a carved path above the buildings. Look, we now know that this, OK, so we need to open another can, uh, canvas, but we're going to our poster or our Final image is supposed to be on A4, 21 centimeters by this here. So we're going to go and open another one. We're going to A4, 21 by 29. I'll put this in here as well. So 21 centimeters. Control C. I'm going to close these ones here because I don't need them. File, new. I'm going over here to centimeters. Control V, 21 by 29. Maybe I should also be on print here. It's going to be A4, so I'm clicking A4. So I'll go back over here again one more time and go to centimeters, 21. And okay, so it comes up. It's the default. So save the image as TTS10. So I'm going to go do that and save, save it straight away. So TTS10 file, save as. Control A, Control C, and this in here, Control V. Okay, and again, I can I can change the size of these here. And, uh, give that a line. Because I'm not affected here. I'm going to move these here. Now, I could, balloons, okay. I'm going to lock this layer and create another layer because I'm going to be working with text. So, next layer is going to be the text. This here, okay. And this is going to be rounded. So what I like doing here is I'm going to click on the pen tool. I'm going to click once here and click once here. Now, I think this is a really quick way of doing it. Click on the curvature tool, click somewhere around the middle. Let's curve this up a little. I need to go back over to properties and make sure that there's no fill. And back over to Sometimes the curvature tool, you need to click again on the selection. So here we have our, we're going to use this as a path. Then we go to the text tool. Well, it needs to be much larger than this, but let's, I'm just going to control V, I have my text here already. Using the text tool, I'm going to properties. I'm going to, I don't think they tell us what size the text should be. Back and no, the red text at the bottom, which is red text at the top one. So there's no mention of, of the size of the text, and it's like this here. So it's quite large. Um, back over to, back to, I'm even going to make it larger again. So 60 at the moment, I'm going to move it to 72. 
And I can also just here on the right hand side, working with properties, I can go just some spacing to 50, 75, even 100. I go over a selection tool, and I think this looks okay if I want to. I can also just select this here and I'm working with the arrow keys just to center this here. Okay, next I need the text for the bottom of the screen. So this is straight up. A big thank you to all of all of our loyal clients. I have this written in here. Control C. Look off this here, text here. The size and the change is back down to maybe 36. Um, this needs to be color, this needs to be in red with a black outline, the text down here. So back here, so it's the fill should be red. And the stroke or the outline should be make this quite small. I'll copy my text in. Okay. Um, two. Now the outline is not really possible to see the outline here, so I'm going to change this to maybe five. I might also make it a little bit larger, 48. to center this here. I'm going to go to the text tool again. I'm going to select my text. Still not happy with the outline, so I might have to go to 75. And even back to the text again. And even try Okay, then we're asked to save the images this year, export the image, so we're going to save it. Um, we have already saved it, so we'll file and save. I'm also going to go and okay, also save it as a SVG file. And then we also need 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 this here with a transparent background, so we're talking about exporting it as a PNG. I'm not the right paper. Back into our folder, exam center number, and here we've got our And that's it. Okay, so quite a lot of work in that. I hope this has helped. Again, you can look at some of the recommendations here, pause the screen. Um, a, a possibly a good thing is to practice this over and over again. See, can you get, it, uh, get faster at completing it? Okay, thank you for watching.